feel outside of Elevate being, being an osteopath, you also do uh, a, a whole lot of research. Do you focus on a particular area or what types of things have you worked on? Yes, yeah, so my, my chief area of research is looking at how the brain inhibits pain. So basically what I mean by that, if you have a lot of pain coming in from a given stimulus, i.e. mechanical pressure, mm -hmm. then the brain has a way of sending signals down to the spinal cord where that input from the, the outside comes in and it has a way of inhibiting or stopping the transmission going up to the brain. Now in people who are healthy and don't have any pain, this is quite efficient. And when you add an, another painful stimulus to one that's already there, people who don't have pain can inhibit the second pain by about 20% increase. So they're able to dampen down the symptoms. But people with chronic pain are not able to do that. In, in fact, it reverses where the signals back down actually crank up the information coming in rather than dampening it down. So we're looking at which pathways are involved in this and which types of pain conditions are more susceptible, right. in a nutshell. But I'm also involved in palliative care research, so I'm looking at spiritual care and spiritual needs of end-of-life patients. And I'm also involved with New Zealand hospices, and we're, we're, look, we're doing a big death anxiety study at the moment. You obviously believe in continued education. <laughs> How much does that spill over into your work with patients? Uh, I would say nearly all of it, because right. nearly all of them ha have either had painful conditions or they've had they've lost people or they've gone through stressful situations themselves and it's all part of the the presentation that they come in with and everything is that there's got they've gone through is usually mirrored in their in their complaint mm. so it's just a case of weeding through and picking out which of the ones you think are more relevant to their continuance of these symptoms right. so it could be anything from like fear avoidance where they're scared to do something uh, because they think they're going to re-injure the tissue, whereas in fact it's never going to happen. Right. Because they've probably had a lot of scans that show there's nothing, there's nothing, not a problem. But getting them out of that fear of not doing stuff is really difficult. Mm -hmm. But if you point it out to them, and they say, go to the gym, do something for 10 minutes, I can guarantee you nothing's going to happen, and they do that, and then they've got a whole new focus, which is great. Mm -hmm.